Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable hidden features in Windows 11. Of course, I've done a whole bunch of videos in which I showed you how to enable certain hidden features in Windows 11. But in this video, I want to talk about this topic in general, so that maybe in the future when I do a video like this, I have this video to link up in the description or in the comments if you need more information about this topic. So of course, in Windows 11, there are multiple ways of enabling hidden features. As far as I know, there are two methods. One of them would be to install all the updates in Windows 11. That would be the case for the beta channel since the last build, but we're not going to talk about that. In this video, we're going to talk about Vive Tool, which is a very nice tool developed by a GitHub user that will help us enable hidden features in Windows 11. Before talking about this, please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. So in this video, as I said, we're going to talk about Vive Tool, and I'm talking about Vive Tool because even though I've talked about it in previous videos, this app was updated and all the command syntaxes were updated as well. And in this video, I'm going to talk about it, what is new, and how you can understand better the command syntax. For those of you who don't know, Vive is a C sharp library that you can use to make your own programs that interact with the AMB feature experiment mechanism found in Windows 10 and newer, especially in Windows 11, that is present in maybe every build, especially from the dev channel. If you go into the main link of Vive, you'll be able to find this where you can see all the available commands and what they do. Of course, I'm not going to talk about all the commands. Of course, I'm going to talk about the main commands that you need to know in order to enable new features. The download link for Vive will also be in the article down below in the description, and you're going to have the version 0.3.1. Of course, this link will be updated if somehow a newer version will come up. In this video, to demonstrate how Vive works, we're going to enable the tabs in File Explorer because it's pretty interesting that with every new build for the dev channel, the tabs in the File Explorer just go missing and we have to manually enable them again. So first of all, we're going to download Vive tool, the .zip file. I'm going to go in the location where I downloaded it, right click on it, and then on extract all. And here I'm going to select a destination extract files to system 32. Click on browse, then select this PC, local disk C, windows, then scroll down to system 32, select it, select folder and extract. Of course, in my case, it's going to say that I have to replace the files because I already extracted it previous videos. Once you've done that the only thing we need to do is to run some commands in CMD. So I entered in the article where I show you how to enable the new tabs and new navigation pane in File Explorer in Windows 11 in the build 25136. And as you can see here in the article, I have the old commands for Vive Tool. Of course, I don't think I'm going to search for all the articles and update all the commands. So this would be another reason for making this video because the commands are really, really simple to modify to go along with the new command syntax from Vive Tool. Here in a notepad, I have the new Vive Tool enabling command syntax. It's really simple. You just have to type Vive Tool slash enable slash ID two points and then the code of the feature that we want to enable. So before, as you can see here, we have this two value that was basically resembling the slash enable thing. And now I think the command syntax is a little bit more intuitive and easier to use. So we're just going to open up the search box, type in here CMD, right click on command prompt and then click on run as administrator and user account control click on yes. So we have these commands for enabling also the tabs and the navigation pane in the file explorer. I'm just going to paste it here so I'm able to modify it. So what I'm going to have to do just add here slash enable and then space slash ID two points and then we have here the ID and we no longer need the two because we have slash enable and the same thing I'm going to do for the other command even though I have the new navigation pane enabled but I want to run them both just type in here slash enable, then slash ID two points, delete the two and we have the two commands. Now in CMD, we're going to have to run these commands, just copy and paste them here, enter the first one and then the second one. This is how you can enable new features in Windows 11. And basically, this is the new command syntax that you can use. You just need five tools slash enable slash ID and of course the ID code. Now if you want to enable a certain feature, just 
instead of enable use disable as easy as that you can see here if i type slash disable everything will be okay but then you can just enable it again as easy as that so usually when you enable hidden features in windows 11 a file explorer restart would be enough but in some cases you also need to restart your computer in the case for the tabs and your navigation pane you need to restart your computer and after the restart you should have the tabs and also the new navigation pane as easy as that if you want to know more about vive tool of course check out the links from the article below in the description we're going to have the official github repository where you have all the info regarding vive tool for my opinion all you need to do is to know how to enable slash disable features but if you want to learn more you can find all the information needed there so this is how you can enable new features in windows 11 hidden features to be more exact if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like down below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was emmanuel from tech base until next time have a nice day